Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel, also the notification bell, and like this video, and please share. Welcome to Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you. What's going on, people? Okay, this story is devastating on so many levels. Now, D'Angelo Clark, 30 years old, and his girlfriend Kia. Now, the boyfriend FaceTimes the girlfriend's dad while stabbing her to death. Um, police say now, the victim reported to live long enough to tell her father that her boyfriend had a knife. And the Florida man was accused of stabbing the girlfriend to death this month. Allegedly FaceTimed the victim's father while committing the murder to explain that what had happened. Now, on September 11, D'Angelo Clark, 30 years old, reportedly had a video call with Kia's father from the home where Anthony Clark told his girlfriend's father that she that she had the knife but the dying victim was able to rely that the boyfriend that was once on the web well, that the boyfriend was the one with the weapon according to um, the news now reported that Clark eventually told his girlfriend's father that what he did he asked him for advice about what to do before he um, before the call ended now um, Kia's father reportedly spotted his daughter laying in a pool of blood Ugh. now Clark is accused of attempting to set fire to home and fleeing with their 11 month old daughters um, sparking a brief Amber Alert authorities respond to the scenes discovered a blanket and a cloth protruding when the bottom of the oven and detect that a strong smell of lighter fluid or another kind of oscillator in the home according to the news situation that Cluck reportedly dropped off the baby daughter at the relative's home before taking off to low key where he was arrested the same day as the murder where allegedly breaking into the home and stealing the items and reported that he suffered severe burns while setting his car at low key home in on fire now officials have yet to re reveal the motive um while on the run McClark reported he wrote on Facebook that um Kia 21 tried to kill him and that he was going to take his own life now Clark is charged with murder for his girlfriend's land and various charges stemming from Berkeley low-key authorities told the news station that he could face additional charges for the incident in low-key. Now it's stating that reported that Clark remains hospitalized but will be transported to Mar Marion County once he recovers. Now I want to share this part with you as far as the news read check this out Yeah, deputies say during that FaceTime call, the suspect actually told the victim's father what he had done. He also asked for advice, according to deputies. Now, once that call ended, the victim's father called the sheriff's office and asked deputies to go over to his, his daughter's house to check on her. But once deputies arrived, the victim was already dead. Today we found out Kiara Allen's father is the one who contacted the sheriff's office for help last week. His call for help sent deputies racing to Northeast 78th Lane. Now, once on the scene, investigators found his daughter dead. 
Officials say before he made the call, the suspect, D'Angelo Clark, actually contacted him. D'Angelo Clark FaceTimed the victim's father. The victim's father became concerned for her well-being and did call us. Deputies say the suspect stabbed the victim to death and then took off with their baby, which triggered an Amber Alert. Inside the home, deputies say along with the victim, they found a blanket cloth covering could be seen hanging out of the bottom of the oven and a strong odor of lighter fluid or other accelerant. They believe the suspect attempted to set the house on fire. Deputies say Clark dropped the baby off to family members before driving to the Keys. There, officials say he broke into a home and stole some things. Later, they say he suffered severe burns when he set fire to his vehicle and another home. He was then airlifted to a hospital in Miami. Right now, we are evaluating his condition medically. Our detectives are on scene with him in Monroe County, and as soon as he's able to be transported back to Marion, we will bring him here to face charges. Now, today, I reached out to the victim's father. I offered my condolences. He also told me that right now his family is still hurting and that they're in too much pain to talk about this tragedy. So, D'Angelo Clark, 30 years old, going to ask her father... What should he do after killing his daughter? 21 years old. You know, this will let you see just how mentally crazy people are these days. And when I got this story and stuff, I was like, no, this can't be true. This can't be true. This is crazy. This doesn't make sense to me. But then again, this is how this world works. And the family in my prayers, this happened in Florida. Killed them. Oh, someone sent this to me, and this is so devastating for me. But I just want to report it to y'all because I, I can't deal with this right now. This is too much for me. This is too much for me mentally, and I, I, I can't deal with this. But I'll be letting y'all comment below how y'all feel about this. Now, remember, 30 years old, she 21 years old, just had his baby. Killed her. He could have just left, killed his damn son, but he had to kill her. FaceTime, her father, killed her, allegedly, and left. Oh, Alright guys, I'll let you comment. I'll be reading your comments, see how you feel about this. I told you before, I want, I want to share with y'all, only reason why I'm doing these stories is to show you the world we're now in. And I want to show you proof of what we go through together. More so, you think it's just for us two spirits? No, this is the real deal. This is where we're at now. This is our life journey. Not saying all men are bad. But she had his baby. He's 30 years old. And he done killed her. Allegedly. He told his girlfriend's father what he did. And asked him to... <laughs> Asked him for advice about what to do before the call ended. What to do? I killed your daughter. What should I do now? Are you... Uh, anyway. This is the reason why you have to scream, people. People are crazy. Real deal crazy. And all the pictures they shared together, she was in love with him. But you never know people's trigger. Anyway, like I said before, comment below for this beautiful woman and the family in my prayers. And they need to throw him under the prison. He don't never need to get it. He thought, what is he threatened for his life? Anyway. Comment below. At the top, there's the Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow back. Let y'all love you. And the family in my prayers. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain.